Hello, and welcome to our channel. In this episode of QCMD Explained, we'll break down the basic principles behind QCMD and show you how it works. Let's dig in. At the heart of QCMD is a thin quartz crystal, coated with gold on both sides. These gold layers serve as electrodes. When voltage is applied, the quartz vibrates at a specific frequency. This happens thanks to the piezoelectric effect, a unique property of quartz. It's the same principle used in quartz watches to keep precise time. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The vibration frequency changes when material adsorbs onto the sensor's surface. It's sensitive enough to detect just a few nanograms per square centimeter. QCMD instruments from 3T Analytic measure frequencies from 5 to 50 megahertz, allowing us to monitor several harmonics called overtones. Today, we'll keep it simple and focus on a single resonance. Here we see the quartz vibrating at its natural frequency. The sharp peak in the graph shows high vibration quality, our starting point. Now, we add a rigid layer to the sensor. As the layer thickens, the resonance frequency drops, the vibration slows down. Because the rigid layer doesn't absorb much energy, the peak shape stays sharp and the vibration quality remains high. Next, we add a viscoelastic layer. It behaves like both a solid and a liquid. As the layer thickens, the frequency drops again. But this time, the sensor's vibration causes the layer to deform, creating internal friction. This friction converts some of the energy into heat, which dampens the vibration. You'll see the peak become wider and lower, clear signs of energy loss and reduced vibration quality. QCMD measures two key quantities, frequency, which reflects added mass, and energy dissipation, which reveals mechanical properties. Together, they offer a real-time look into how a material behaves on the surface. This animation shows how QCMD tracks dynamic changes over time. We start with a baseline. As material adsorbs, frequency drops and damping increases, indicating a soft, viscoelastic layer forming. Later, the layer stiffens, maybe due to crosslinking or dehydration. We see a slight frequency increase and a sharp drop in damping. Finally, during desorption, both frequency and dam damping return toward baseline as the material detaches. With this real-time data, QCMD can track thin film growth, molecular layer formation, and even the elasticity of biological samples like proteins or cells. Thanks for watching. Want to learn more? Visit our website or follow us on LinkedIn and YouTube for the latest insights. And stay tuned for more episodes of QCMD Explained. 3T Analytic. Tuning. Testing. Triumph.